Next we got Michelle, who is a 24 year old food truck owner out of Whoa. LA. Yeah, food truck dude. That's dope. Coolest occupation so far. Yeah, absolutely. Hands down. Super cool. Uh, anyways, 24, out of LA. Uh, a girl who is very, very well rounded. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is the kind of girl that apparently enjoys hang gliding, uh, kayaking, okay. and uh, a nice quiet night at home. Oh, alright. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this is with the whole some business. Maybe with some Netflix. Maybe with a little bit of thrills. Maybe call her Netflix and Thrill. Uh, <laughs> no, but for real, this this girl is very well rounded. She speaks Portuguese. Yeah, baby. Uh, she once again hang glides, kayaks. Spent some time in Rio, right? Uh, yeah, spent some time in Rio. Okay. Um, I mean, she seems like somebody out of all these girls that we've talked about who has really, really lived life. She's got footing beneath her that probably a lot of girls don't have. Yeah, I think Especially so. Especially at age twenty four. That's pretty remarkable. I think so. And and once again. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Yeah, she I mean, probably is one of the more stunning girls that's, oh, that's out there. Absolutely. Right. I think night one, she's really going to shine. I, I think Nick's going to be like, ha, cha, 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 cha. I agree 100%. And I think. Is that something that Sandra Boner makes? Because it is in my. He goes, ha, cha, 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 cha. <laughs> I think she's one to watch. Yeah. All right, coming in hot, we got Olivia. She's a 25 year old apparel sales representative from Anchorage, Alaska. Nice. All right, one of the more exotic locales. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and I'm going to give her the Hermione Granger Has Her Priorities Straight Award. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you why I have that. Because in her questionnaire, she was asked what she's afraid of. Uh -huh. First thing she says, spiders. Uh -huh. Comma, also not being able to fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got a priority straight there. Exactly. So Vic Mensa shouted out Her Hermione Granger earlier this year in a song, and I'm going to shout her out now. And Olivia, you got your priorities straight. Yeah, and she was also the kicker on the high school football team. Which oh, makes that's very cool. Make, yeah, super cool. Which also makes me think that she's probably kind of one of the guys, you know, probably has a lot of mm. guy friends. She's into locker room talk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She could hold her own in a nice little NFL <laughs> conversation. <laughs> what do you guys want? I mean, she's that. probably in a fantasy league. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Bro, so hot. You know what? She doesn't like vodka sodas like most girls. She just like pounds brewskis. Yeah, she likes porters and stouts, man. <laughs> she asks what's on tap. <laughs> what's harder than that, dude? Next we got Rachel, who is a 31-year-old attorney. See, actual attorney, yeah. not law school graduate. <laughs> Somebody who's employed. Right, and uh, passed the bar first time she took it, as far as I remember. Yeah. In the, in the profile. Yeah, you're right, you're right. 31-year-old uh, attorney from Dallas, Texas. Uh, this girl, once again, I'm just going based on a hunch, because honestly, there's not a whole lot in this bio that really stands out to me. She seems like the kind of girl that takes a long ass time to get ready. I mean longer than usual. Mm. Longer than most people. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I think mm. she takes the longest to get ready. Yeah, I, I gotta say that is one of my least favorite parts of like being in a relationship is <sighs> figuring out how long it takes for some girls to get ready. Yeah. Sometimes it can be a big a bit of a downer. Yeah, that's true. And I mean like everybody's got their own pace. Uh, but sometimes that pace is probably a little more than what's actually necessary. And uh, this girl feels like one that probably goes on that pace. Yeah, if you're someone who likes to throw on a backwards hat instead of washing your hair, <laughs> then someone who takes a while to get ready might not be the girl for you. <laughs> That's a fair point, man. Hey, but if you're a bad boy, sometimes you're going to need an attorney on your side. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. Some free counsel. <laughs> she might be your girl then. <laughs> All right, get ready because we got Raven coming at you. She's a 25-year-old fashion boutique owner from Hoaxy, Arkansas, uh, one of the more populous regions, I think, in uh, in the United States. Uh, <laughs> yeah, based on the millions know. of things that come out of Hoaxy, Arkansas. I don't know. When you say Hoaxy, you think yeah. a lot of people, uh, city of industry. It's, it's probably the kind of place that would is going to give Raven an official day based on being on The Bachelor. Right? That's like the Raven right. day. She's going to be added to their Wikipedia page. Yeah, definitely. For sure. Definitely. Um, but, moreover, there's one thing I wanted to bring up about Raven. <laughs> it's the fact that she's going to get an award that I like to call the 1159 award. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what that means is that it's about to strike midnight on this fantasy that she's living. Okay. Because before this, the only gift that she has received from a guy is a diamond necklace and roses covered her back seat. Yeah. That's the only gift that she's received. Yeah. Now she's coming on to The Bachelor and she's about to be whisked away 
in a fantasy land that's paid for by one of the biggest corporations in America. And after she doesn't win, I don't know, I, that's what I'm guessing, I, she's going to go back to real life and other dudes are going to be trying to take her to the Cheesecake Factory. And she's going to be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, uh, can we go to Thailand at yeah, least? Where's my glass slippers, buddy? <laughs> yeah. So I think her carriage is about to turn into a pumpkin oh. in about uh, six, seven weeks or so. <laughs> All right, well, here's the thing. I actually think that this girl's one to watch for me. Okay. Uh, a, I think she is smoking hot. I mean, okay. I'm talking like top two or three right. based on what we've seen. And B, I don't know. I think that there's actually a real chance that her and Nick could hit it off. Don't really know why. I'm just going based off a hunch. Oh, fashionable. I mean, if she's a fashion boutique owner. Absolutely. Uh, seems pretty well-rounded based on the questions that she said. Okay. Um, I think there's a chance they could hit it off, and I do think that there's a chance that she could potentially win. I'm not saying she's my pick to win, but I do think that it's somebody that could actually go pretty far in this. So, who knows? This fantasy land might be extended <laughs> beyond just the show. I mean, given her luck, this could be just the way that her... Love story, yeah. Yeah, well, and maybe she makes it far enough on the show to where she can become one of those, like, Instagram celebrities where they just uh, get paid based yeah. on endorsements. I mean, in which case, then she could continue to live that lifestyle. Right. So, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I think she's one to watch. We'll see how it goes. Okay, next up, we got Sarah, who... Dude, I'm stoked to talk about this girl because, man, oh, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dude, 26-year-old grade school teacher uh, from Newport Beach, California, who, based on looking through this bio, man, uh, I there's not really one thing I dislike about her. Honestly, she's the gold standard, man. Yeah. She, she really is, whoa. dude. She, she the, the answers that she has given... Just, oh man, I'm smiling from ear to ear just thinking about it, man. Seriously, I think she is fantastic. Well, I mean, she won me over with her picture. I mean, it was oh, just so... Yeah, dude. Like, something about her, there's just, it was like a magnetism. There was something that was like charming. Oh, and man. then you go to the group picture, you're like, is this even real? And dude, you go to the group picture, she's the first one you notice. Dude, what's the most outrageous thing you've ever done? She says, maybe this. You're moving to NYC with three bucks, two bags, and one me. Dude, that's... That's hilarious. <laughs> That's, that sounds made up, though. I would actually like to investigate that story a little bit. Moving right. to New York with three dollars? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Unless she was a student at eighteen and she moved, and her parents were like paying for everything. That's true. That's true. But needless to say, we got this girl as one to watch for sure. Oh, hell right? Yeah. I mean, for sure. I actually think that she's a potential winner. I mean, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think this is one girl to. Definitely keep your eyes on, and I hope that we're not wrong on this one, man, because no, I really I want to see her. life for 10 weeks, man, for <laughs> sure. That's right, man. At least. That's right. All right, we're coming into the home stretch here, and uh, first off, we have a 26-year-old named Susanna. Mm -hmm. She's an account manager from San Diego, and right off the bat, I want to give her an award. Yeah? Can I tell you what it is? <laughs> what is it, my man? <laughs> I have her as the Take Me to Church One Hit Wonder Award, brought to you by Hosier. <laughs> Because I think she's going to have a moment on the show where you think, oh my god, where did she come from? Yeah. Oh my god, is she going to be a front runner? And then she's going to fizzle out for the next couple of weeks and she's going to do one of those things where she peeks up. Nick's going to have a conversation. It's like, I feel like the momentum just isn't there anymore. And he's going to send her going. Maybe, maybe even like somebody that gets like one of the first roses. Maybe a first impression rose of some kind? Could be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty good, man. I mean, honestly, on this girl, there wasn't a whole lot that really stood out to me. Um, Good-looking girl, but uh, yeah, I don't really see her being a threat long-term. I don't either, but I also would like to use this opportunity to have a platform to talk about this girl love for Chrissy Teigen, because she says she wants to be Chrissy Teigen for the day. Dude. For the day. There's a lot of hashtag goals, yeah. hashtag family goals around Chrissy Teigen, and John Legend, and it just makes me think, is it because she talks about farting and cellulite on the back of her legs that <laughs> girls see her as someone to, like, admire? I don't know, but there's been, a, what it is about there's been a lot of Chrissy Teigen love throughout this whole cast. I mean, this yeah. is, like, the third or fourth girl that's brought it up. She's, like, a stone-cold hero to this, to, like, people our age. Yeah, that's definitely true. I don't get it. Clearly, you don't get it. If you get it, let us know no, in the please comments. please let us know in the comments. This is going to be one of the things we actually want to know. We want to know. 